Hi guys and welcome back to WP Data Table Tutorials. So we have shown you many features, integrations and all of the options that you have in the plugin. But today we prepared a special video where we actually show you how you can create a table. This is an example table from our showcase on our website, which is showing you how you can create a cryptocurrency rank table. Uh, but of course you can use this approach for many different types of uh, tables, different uh, data that you want to use. We are just showing uh, this example that we have currently on hand. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Okay guys, now um, to access this tutorial, you can go to support examples and you'll see how to create cryptocurrencies rank table. This is the table that you can see in table examples under cryptocurrencies rank table. And one thing important to note is that this is not live data pulled from anywhere. This is a simple manual table created by hand, so manually. Uh, and you guys can start by exporting it to Excel and downloading it to your computer. Now I already have it since uh, we've configured the table beforehand. Uh, but if you download the file, you can create a new table by clicking import, uh, create a table by importing data from a data source, select the spreadsheet, click on next. And here you will just need to confirm that the first column is integer. The other ones are strings. And then we move on to configuring the table. Now we've already configured the display tab above the table, the sorting and filtering tab above the table, editing table tools and uh, placeholders are not being used in this case. So we've skipped that. Also, you will notice that uh, you have some additional options in here. Uh, but you can ignore them since they're not being used. So only, you only need to verify that these are checked or unchecked. So to continue, we'll go to the first column, which is the only integer column in the table. And we have enabled the uh, visible on front end and column width is set to 100. So when you click on settings, you can see 100, which is in pixels. You don't need to add PX in there. Um, and this feature, the uh, column width is only available if you enable the limit table width uh, checkbox in here. If you disable it or if you enable the horizontal scroll bar, you won't see the column width in the settings. So we've enabled that. And now we move back to the tutorial. So we've configured the display, the filtering, the editing tab for this and all other columns. I th may have missed something, but <laughs> we'll see as we go along. I also wanted to just say, don't worry if you see any other options. We, this was done a year ago, uh, but and we have had a lot of updates since then. So we have released some new options. But for you, it's the, the only important thing is that you configure the settings that you see here on this page uh, and you should get the table the same as in the showcase. Correct. Yeah. Um, okay. So now we've uh, uh, in the second column, uh, there's nothing that you need to do other than uh, specify the column width. Now um, you need to copy this CSS into settings. So under WP data table settings, custom JS and CSS, in the custom WP data table CSS, paste the first uh, line that you see here to define the vertical alignment of the column. So basically what we are starting to work on now is the column where you can see all of the images together with the name of the cryptocurrency. So through this custom CSS and a few more lines of code that you will see down the line uh, is how you can uh, format that exact column. Yeah, so yeah, this is the second column name. Uh, so we've added this in custom CSS, but since you're defining it, we, you need to assign it to the column. So you just copy this class and add it to the custom, the CSS class within column name settings. So once we save that, we go back to the tutorial where we copy this. Now this CSS contains the image file on which all logos are located. So you can view it on this link, see how, how it actually looks like. So these are all logos in here. And what we're doing is we're mapping them. So in WP data table settings, we've just defined from where the logos should appear. And now we need to add this mapping. So crypto one, crypto two, crypto three, and so on. 
everything goes into custom CSS where we define the position from where the logo will be pulled. Now, once we do that and we refresh this table, we won't see anything new. Why? Because we need, oh, actually we do. <laughs> okay, um, you, as you assume, we've prepared for this before. <laughs> so this is why you can see these three uh, logos. But in order to uh, add the logos, you need to copy uh, each row individually. So we've, did, we've done this for Bitcoin, Coin, XRP and Ethereum. Now we move to Bit, Bitcoin Cash. So copy this and edit the Bitcoin Cash um, row, paste it and submit. And here it is. So again, you need to do this uh, for every single row, just copy, paste and that's about it. I mean, it's it's a little uh, cumbersome, but at the moment, it's the only way of doing it in order for it to appear as it should. Uh, I won't be going through all of these. I, I believe this is enough for the video. Uh, columns three to 10 all have the same CSS class applied, which is align center cell. And you can see it in here. So this CSS aligns the text horizontally in the center using the following CSS. So again, copy this and paste it into custom CSS field and settings, go back and save this table, save changes. And now as you can see, it's all in the, in the middle, except for this one, which may be in the middle, but it's only visible in the front end. We'll get to that later because everything else seems to be okay. Um, okay, so we've now completed the setup for columns, symbol, market cap, and circulating supply. Uh, the symbol column, it has no conditional formatting, so we just configured these settings. The fourth column also has no conditional formatting, so we'll jump to the fifth column, which is price, which does have conditional formatting. Now, price has the uh, blue text CSS class, which is defined if the cell contains a dot. So under conditional formatting for the price column, we add a new rule. If a cell contains a dot, set cell CSS class and paste blue text. Save changes, you won't see anything. Why? Because we need to add this to the settings page under custom CSS, save the changes, and let's refresh the page. And there it is, it has a dot. Now, back to the tutorial, similar thing is done for the volume, and only instead of a dot, it's going to be a comma. So uh, under volume, we go to conditional formatting, add a new rule, which contains a comma, set cell CSS class, which will be, again, blue text, and save it. There we go. Okay, um, now columns, one hour, 24 hours, and seven days have the same setup with only one difference. Uh, the column width of 90 pixels is applied to the display column. Uh, and when you access the uh, in the display column when you access the uh, columns eight and nine while column uh, eight and ten while column nine has the width set to 100 so everything else is the same we need to add a couple of uh, conditional formatting rules to these columns so the last column should include red text class which is applied when cell value contains a minus. So when it contains a minus, we set the class to red text. If it doesn't contain a minus, we set the class to green text, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, green text. And now we copy this custom CSS into settings, save it, and back to the table once we save these changes and save the table, it 
didn't paste it. Let's save the changes again. Let's save the changes again. And here we go. Mm -hmm. So minus is in red and what doesn't contain a minus is in green. So we just do the same thing for other two columns. So if it does contain, if it doesn't contain set self CSS class, this is red text. This is green text, save. And this last column, also the same two rules. If it contains, if it does not contain a minus CSS class, red text and CSS class, green text. And that is it. Okay. Now, uh, this basically completes the creation of the cryptocurrencies rank table. Now, let's say that this is a quick tutorial, quick tutorial of how you can create a cryptocurrencies rank table by mapping the image with multiple uh, logos in it and applying some conditional formatting to columns. Yeah, thank you, Alexander. So as you guys can see here, you have a few different approaches what you can do with your tables. So how you can add map out the images, how you can change the uh, color of different uh, text depending on the values or if it contains certain signs or not. Uh, and all of those can be applied to any of your uh, tables. So thank you guys for watching. If you want us to show, we are going to do more showcase videos with different customization options for different tables in WP Data Tables. But if, if you have any specific requests on what you want to see done, uh, please leave those down below in the comments. And while you're there, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.